Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Today what I'm going to show you is one of my favorite recipes, so let's get started. Hi guys, I just wanted to show you a little update that I'm doing in my bathroom. This was a tub and we had like the subway tiles going up. I had shower doors, so what I'm doing now is just making this strictly into a shower. So as soon as we get the tile, I'll show you the tile. That's the kind of tile I picked out. So this will be going on all the shower walls here and here and around the window. It's a nice pretty tile. We started placing the tile on the wall. This is where the shower is going to be. You can see that black circle, that's where the uh, on and off button will be. It's starting to take shape. Still got a long way to go. And right up there will be the new shower head. It's still a mess, but it's getting there. This tile's really gonna look pretty. We got a little further today with the tile. You can see we added in some shelving in each corner. This one here I can put shampoo bottles on it. But it's looking good. We don't have that much more to go. And it, then it will be ready to grout. Well we just got done tiling and grouting so you can see the four shelves on each side, two here, two here. And we just got done putting the glass doors on. So we're still not finished yet, but it's getting there. And the doors roll on rollers. So pretty soon it'll be ready to be used. Today I had a little bit more time so I put the um, covers on the roll tracks right up here. I also cleaned off the window. And I grouted around the bottom of the shower and around the window. So I have to let that dry for about 72 hours. So I was just washing down the shower doors. We still have the handles to put on. The next thing I'll be doing is tearing up this floor and putting down tile. So as soon as that's done, I'll show you guys that. We still have the faucet to put on. So there's just a few odds and ends and then the shower itself will be complete. And then I'll start on the floor and the new toilet. The shower is done and we put the door handles on. Still not complete but it's almost there. Right now we're doing the floor and you can see um, it's marble tile. We kind of want it to stay the same with what's on the shower. So we just did enough so that we could get the new toilet in here. So we still got quite a bit to do as far as the flooring. And then we have to finish painting. I picked out like a um, light gray to kind of blend in with the shower color. It will make it more brighter in here. So the flooring is really going to look nice. I'm using the same grout color as the shower, which is white. We're done painting the bathroom. You can see I picked out like a light gray. It, it matches the tile in the shower and on the floor. We finished grouting on the floor. So there's just a few odds and ends to finish this bathroom. You can see how much brighter it looks. 
I really like the floor. It came out nice. The shower really came out good too. We finished grouting on the floor. You can see I matched the white grout with the white grout that's in the shower. I just went out and purchased these rugs. A nice light gray color. And a nice bath mat. And a nice bath mat. It's nice and soft. Along with these pretty gray towels. So I just need to shop for something to put up here. I was thinking maybe a clock or something. And these are the lights we got. I switched out the lights. Nice and pretty. The other light was nice, but it just didn't match with everything in here. So all I have left is the molding that goes around the mirror and the molding on the floor. You can see I'm missing the molding. And I have some nice decals that I'll be putting on the door, the shower door itself, because I'm just afraid of my father walking into it. So I have one for each door. So as soon as that's on, I'll show you. But the bathroom does look nice and it's almost complete. And the gray color really looks pretty. Our decals came in the mail today, so we put them on each door. This way here, my father doesn't walk into it. So we tried to put them on evenly. It came out pretty good. It's the hummingbird theme with lilies. So along with that, I also put in a bath mat. This way here my father doesn't slip in case if it does get slippery on the floor from either soap or shampoo. I purchased some towels to make it look pretty in here. I was thinking about putting a clock or a picture here, but I think I'm not going to put anything on the walls in this bathroom. And on the back of his toilet, I picked up these two baskets. I seen them at Walmart. So I figured in this one, I'll keep his brushes and then I have his underarm deodorant and his aftershave. And I have this rug here, this way here he's not stepping barefoot on the tile, even though the tile is so pretty I hate to cover it up, but I'm looking out for his safety. And when he comes out of the shower I also have this nice soft bath mat. So the only thing left now is I have to put bars in the shower. After the bars are in, the only other thing that I have to do now is I'm switching out the um, faucet. I bought a new faucet to match the shower head and where you turn it on and off. Oh, I also picked up these. Um, it's to rest his soap on. Because I know he has trouble with his fingers, so this way here, if the soap is on here, he can kind of grab it a lot easier. And it came two in a package, so I figured I'd just leave the two of them in here. So it actually came out pretty nice. And this light really looks a lot better than the other one. The other one was really outdated. makes it a lot brighter in here. And everything that you see in this bathroom I purchased at Lowe's. The shower door came from Lowe's, the tile. This decal I actually got off of eBay. And a lot of these little uh, trinket items like the rug and the bath mat I just purchased at Walmart. Walmart was the closest store by me. I didn't feel like running around 
because usually I do get it at either JCPenney or Sears, but a lot of those stores have closed up, so... And the closest Target to me is like 30 miles away, so I just wanted to run to Walmart, which is 6 miles away. So pretty soon it'll be complete. And then we started painting out in the hallway. I'm changing the color here and I took everything off of the walls here. I'm just going to leave it blank to make it look bigger. Because I did have a mirror with two sconces on each side and I did like it. But it's kind of in a way of my father when he does walk by so I figured I'll just leave the walls bare. So you can see how much brighter it looks. It almost looks like a uh, peach color but it's actually a very light light sand color. This is the first coat so I have to put two coats on it because you can see above the door that it does need more paint. And this side of the wall I had two bicycles. Uh, it was just a little knick-knack thing that I had hanging here and my sister liked them so I packed them up and gave them to her so I'll just leave nothing on this wall. So it's looking a lot better. And then I bought a new rug to go on the floor here so that it's more safer for my father when he comes out of his room. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.